Hey, welcome to Quantum Creation. Uh, this is a website that talks about quantum physics and string physics, these advanced sciences, and how they align with God, with scripture, uh, and um, just exciting stuff. Because when you talk about quantum, you just say quantum, and people's ears perk up. It's popular, it's exciting, there's a lot going on. And uh, in the tiny, tiny, tiny world of quantum and string physics, uh, fascinating, bizarre things. And so I welcome you to come into the website and see this crazy stuff. And more importantly, how it aligns to the creator. It points right to God. It's very exciting because you know what? It, science wasn't always like that. There was a long, many, many years where science would be like, hey, there is no God, there's no God in this here realm of science because you cannot observe God, uh, uh, measure God, and show cause effect, prove God, therefore there is no God. But science, since those days, has really done a 360 and saying, hey, there's all this crazy stuff going on and uh, we don't know what's going on. And there, there are more questions today in science than answers and it's exciting because these things are pointing to God. So come to the website and, and see how these things are pointing to God because uh, um, I try to make it somewhat easy to understand. I mean, you could go on YouTube and read all kinds of books and uh, um, try to figure it out yourself, but it's pretty complicated stuff and uh, I try to make it a little easier for you to understand and I make the connections to scripture and kind of uh, make it uh, the learning process a lot easier. So it's kind of like learning a new language here on quantum creation because we want to be able to communicate with people of other faiths, with agnostics, with atheists. And if you talk about science, science is, a, a, one, it's a hot topic. People are interested in it and fascinated. So if you kind of can bring into the discussion some of uh, the fascinating things that are going on. It's kind of a neutral subject and of interest to people. And then when you captured their curiosity, we make the connections to what the Bible says and people's hearts are really open. I have a lot of fun discussions, interesting discussions, deep discussions with people. And I'd like you to help in that process and partake in that process as well. So come learn a new language so we can communicate. But it's not just for evangelists, evangelism, it's also for us. You see, it's for people like me. You know, we don't all have that heart of Joshua where we hear from God, we have no questions, we just go and do it, we march around those walls of Jericho and boom, it collapses and we just do what God says, listen to his voice and um, I want to be able to do that. I want to uh, um, build more of a, a Joshua for myself and there are others like me. But you see, I have this thing that uh, I am influenced in culture um, to a degree. I mean, I'm very spiritual. Uh, I, I'm, there's no doubt about me and my belief in God and that I'm saved and, and in Christ and the Holy Spirit. And, but on the other hand too, I am influenced by culture and science. So knowledge is kind of in there as well. And so instead of fighting it, I said, hey, I'm gonna go look for answers to some of this. For example, if I talk to people uh, uh, years ago, uh, what would I say about the Big Bang and science saying the Big Bang you know, uh, um, started 13.77 billion years ago. We got all this data and all this proof. And, and, um, but yet, I was taught that uh, um, God created in six days and these theologians said that it occurred some six to 10,000 years ago, and maybe we could stretch it to 50,000 years ago. I mean, how do I address that? What if somebody were to ask me that? And I'm, I'm trying to talk about God. I, I, there are many things that would hold me back that uh, made me uneasy about talking about God. 
Um, and so the things I've discovered now, the things that I see were science, were the laws of physics, because God created the universe, created all the laws of physics. Therefore, these things should align with God and point to the Creator, and they do. And uh, um, because I want to have um, less doubt. I mean, we look in Mark. 11, 23, and Christ tells his disciples, says, Truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says is going to happen, it shall be granted him. I found that when I was praying for people, I wasn't always seeing results. I doubt. A lot of us have doubt. Ha. <sighs> My journey has helped me reduce some of this doubt. And I'm moving more mountains. I mean, I'm praying for people and, and seeing signs and wonders and, and God's works being done that Christ says we can do. If we pray for people, we can heal them. It's exciting. And if you're like me in that regard, this website will be helpful to reduce some of that doubt so that when you pray for people, you'll pray without doubt, with authority, knowing that you can change the atmosphere and be a conduit for Christ and change and so that he can have glory, so that he uh, can be evident within our presence. So. Come, welcome, and um, hey, if you have any questions, go ahead and write me. I'd be very happy to uh, converse with you. And so, welcome.